Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of The Ultimate Iron Man. Last video, we spent the whole time doing Hollowed Sepulcher. As you can see, we got the full Black Graceful, and we gained about 1.1 million Agility XP. And we got all this other stuff done as well from Sepulcher. And now that we're done doing Agility, it's time to go do more Agility. We're going to go to the Arty Rooftops because, as you can see in the POH here, uh, we have all the sets. I'm just wearing the Black Graceful. Uh, we have all the sets except for the White Graceful. And we're going to need 260 marks for a full set, plus 90 marks for a recolor. So in total, we're we're gonna have to get this stack of Marks of Grace to 350, so that way we can buy the final Graceful set for the account. So with that said, I guess we'll make our way over to Artie, and I'm gonna reset the Agility XP, so this way we can see all the Agility XP that we gain just during this video, and then got my Zora pet out as well. Alright, here we go. It begins yet again. Man, I missed this place. While we're here, I also have to start thinking about what to do next, because I don't know what I want to do next. I mean, it's probably going to be some more collection log stuff since we've been on this, like, I guess, like a collection log binge lately. I feel like I've just been working on filling out as many slots as possible. Hey, this isn't agility, but this is 530 million total XP on the account. Hey, babe. Huh? Are you 99 agility? Yeah. I thought so, because you've been running through my mind all day. I said you've been running through my mind all day. I noticed you didn't laugh at my joke. We are about to reach a very important KC mile. Wait, well, it's not. It's not KC. It's also not important. But ten thousand laps at the Arty course. This is gonna be it. The very last mod mark of grace that we need to complete all of the graceful sets on the UIM. Let's make sure we're buying exactly one of each of these. Don't want to misclick here. Now we just gotta get the recolor. We got 90 marks exactly for that. And there is the complete set of the white graceful. We could put on the very last set of graceful that we need. I think, right? I haven't checked the POH for a while. Uh, so we gained uh, 650k agility XP, which means with my inefficient raids, I spent about almost 20 hours doing agility to get this amount of XP. So we'll take the set off, put it in the POH, and just to double check, I think that was the last set we needed, right? It, it's so long between like all these clips and stuff, but yep, that's it. All the graceful sets are done. Let's go for another rod, or I guess the last rod. No, we need two more rods from Aerial Fishing. There's the Pearl Barbarian rod, which we need for the collection log. And then we need another regular Pearl Fishing rod. As you saw, there were three rods in the collection log, but there's four rods here because there's the oily pearl fishing rod as well. So we have to get a second pearl fishing rod and then add blemish oil to it. So I guess we'll go for one of these rods or something from aerial fishing. At this point, I've shown myself doing aerial fishing a bunch of times, so you probably already understand the gist of how it works. Uh, so we'll head over to Mulch Island and we're going to reset the fishing XP, hunter XP, and maybe I guess the cooking XP as well, just to see how much XP we gain while doing this. And then for the regular pearl fishing rods, 100 mulch pearls, or for the barbarian rod is 150. So I guess we'll just start doing this and I'll see how I'm feeling as time goes on, because we are going to end up being here for a long time. Oh wait, what? When? Okay, I just noticed this right now, we just got the golden tench. Okay, we can wait for it. The golden tench is one out of 20,000 for each fish that you catch here. And as you can see by the hunter XP, I haven't been here too long. Although in the past, I have spent a long time here. Uh, and the really cool thing about this is that it's also storable in the POH. And then for any future ones that we get, we can't store multiple, but we can trade these in for 100 mulch pearls each. Because this is the first one, I'm going to keep this one, of course, for myself. But any future ones, uh, that'll be really, really nice. Especially if we do end up going for uh, the sack thing, because that's 1,000 mulch pearls. And if there are any other players around right now, which there aren't, uh, you can actually whack other players with it. It's just a fun weapon. You can see the stats here give pretty heavy negatives. That's cool, though, dude. We just got here, and we just almost immediately got a new item. And now we can put the the golden tench nice and safe away in the magic wardrobe. It's a very magical tench, apparently. Today we have a very major game update. This is not a small quality of life. Let me show you. I have a web page open right over here. Uh, it's not Dead Man. It's not the new Amethyst mining spot. It's down over here. Major news. The land's end dog can now be petted. It's been a few days since I've recorded any clips, but I have still been aerial fishing 
And we are back at Redwoods right now. I just want to show you the virtual fire making level, which I just missed. Wait, what was that? Oh, that was uh, 106 fire making. It finally happened. The Infernal Axe is out of charges. It's a good thing and a bad thing. I mean, mainly bad because it makes it less AFK, but it's a good thing because we get more fire making XP because when it burns a log, you get half the XP. But if I manually burn it, I get the full XP. But yeah, who knows uh, if slash when I'll ever be charging this axe again. There was an update today that says there's a way to display a bond button on the interface. Oh, here it is. Show the store button on desktop. What does this look like? Oh, it's right there. What a convenient way for new players to spend their money. Wow, virtual wood cutting level 109 at 35 mil XP. I've been so busy moving POH's IRL, I haven't logged in for over four days now, dude. This is so weird being away from the game for so long. I've been seeing a lot of drama on Twitter about this new poll right here for group Iron Man, so uh, I guess I should vote. And um, it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens with this. Wow, 83,000 votes. I know by the time you're seeing this video, this, well, I've, I've been thinking about this a lot. I mean, if group Iron Man does come out, this will uh, probably end up being the last video of the series, so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. It has been so long since I've recorded a clip for the video, but here we go. Finally, something to show. 107 fire making. I've just been stuck at Redwoods this whole time. Uh, the poll for group Iron Man is going to be ending tonight, or I guess tomorrow morning technically, at like 3 a.m. for me, so we'll see what happens. Look at that game update. So I don't know if that means the poll is going to be closing then, or if it's already closed now. It says it's still active. Okay, I'm gonna guess that it's gonna fail and be 70% yes and 30% no, but we'll see very shortly. Oh, and by the way, the actual update that's happening this week, you can see is the wilderness and equipment rebalance changes. So they're nerfing dehyde finally after they announced that such a long time ago. So black dehyde is now gonna have lower stats, which is notable because now blessed dehyde is actually gonna be a lot more worth it than black dehyde, more so than just the prayer bonus that is. The defense requirement for blessed dehyde is now one instead of 40. Uh, the Din's Bulwark is getting nerfed kind of, but then it has like the new special perk added to it. I think they're nerfing Zerishian, yeah. Oh, and good news for all the newbie hardcore Ironmen out there. Uh, if you're doing the Tree Gnome Village quest, then the Khazard Commander isn't going to have that stall thing where you're just stuck there and you take the four hits. I think that's what that is, right? The crazy thing is that in the past, the most votes that a poll has ever gotten in total was the Warding poll, which got about 125k votes. But then if we go to this poll, which is about to end pretty soon, we're over 141k votes for the group Iron Man poll. I remember I voted like a few days after the poll came out and at the time I think it was like 70 or 80k votes. And I just assumed that by that point all the people who wanted to vote had already voted, but now just a few days later we're already at 141k votes. That's absolutely insane. And the great part is, is that no matter what the result is, the 07 Scape subreddit is about to blow up very soon in 20 minutes. All right, here we go. Just a few more seconds left and I believe this is when we're about to find out the results of the poll. So two, one, zero. Logging in and a few history. Here we go. It actually passed. I'm actually really surprised. Group Iron Man's coming out October 6th, which is probably just a couple days after you've seen this video, although right now it is September 22nd. I can't believe that passed, dude. I'm actually really shocked. Well, I think this is it. I think this is gonna be the last XP I'm gonna gain on the account once we finish lighting these fires here. I'll go try to do these clues and then we'll open them up and see if we get anything cool from them. Well, here we go. Let's start opening the clue scrolls. This is the accumulation of uh, about a month of doing like the AFK Redwoods and the aerial fishing and whatever other miscellaneous activities I may have gotten clues from. Actually, I think it's all I've been doing for the last month. Just those two things. And actually the last three weeks themselves, I, I've only been chopping Redwoods and burning the logs. That's it. So. Here we go, the last of the beginner clues we're gonna do, and not a single unique. Oh, oh, what a great, what a great unique to end it on. Mole slippers. Okay, now time for the easy clues. Oh, that was new, blue elegant legs. Oh, <laughs> cape, bro, what, what? 
I mean, we just got that like a few videos ago or something. I was just editing that video recently, actually. Eight more easy clues to do. I think we literally cannot top uh, the Cape of Skulls. I'm pretty sure it's the most expensive item that we could possibly get. Except for, I guess, getting new items for the collection logger for the POA. So there's another one, the Iron Plate Skirt T. And just a few more here. And the very last easy clue. There we go. On to the medium clues now. How funny would it be if we end up getting rangers on the last day of playing the account? A lot of green, as always. So far, it's a pretty typical opening for medium clues. Okay, and the very last chance for rangers. Never. Next, we've got five hard clues to open. Let's see if we'll finally ever end up finishing a bless set on the account. Oh, we have, we have those, okay. Two more. Oh, nice, that's new, and yeah. And then here we go, the very last clues on the account. We got three elites to open. Possibly a mimic. <gasps> what? <laughs> Uh, wait, how, wait, that's only worth less than 100k for both. All right, if we come over here to the watchtower, we can take uh, the stuff we have in the stash unit here. Uh, we can put the dragon chain body ornament kit on the dragon chain body, and now we're wearing a gold trim dragon chain body. But this is stashable with the ornament kit on it. The band of stole is new, uh, the armadillo plate skirt's new, the iron plate skirt is new, blue elegant legs were new. The rune shield is new. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Pretty sweet opening. It's been so freaking long since I've actually done stuff on the account. Um, so I had to go back in the clips, but we were aerial fishing. So let's take a look at the hunter XP that we gained, which was 945k. And then the fishing XP that we gained was 736k. I spent a few weeks chopping redwoods. And from that, we got 6.4 million woodcutting XP. And the fire making XP that we got is probably pretty similar to that. 5.8 mil fire making XP. I've talked about this before, but one of the main reasons I started making videos was so that I could eventually look back and remember all the progress I made. So just to stay in line with that, I'm showing the current XP and all the rankings of the account on the UIM high scores. The date is October 1st, 2021. Group Iron Man is coming out in five days, so probably over the next few days, I'll just take that time to edit videos and put stuff together and just get ready for Group Iron Man. I pretty recently did a two-year progress video where I went through everything in the POH, I went through all the stash units, um, everywhere I could possibly store items on the UIM I showed in that video, and it was pretty recent, so I'm not going to go through all that all over again because that would just add an extra like 30 or 40 minutes into the video. So you can check that out if you want to see all that. Um, as for like these numbers over here, we have 778 things in the collection log, all the quests done, all the achievements done. Uh, 94 combat diary tasks done, and then the time played. Let's actually check it with Hans so we can see the total days since making the account as well. Hans, this is the last time I'm gonna hunt you down ever on the account. Come back here. Okay, so in total on the account, we have spent 385 days since first arriving in the world 898 days ago. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about how I originally made this account in April of 2019 just to try it out while waiting for Group Iron Man. And then a few months later at RuneFest 2019, they officially announced Group Iron Man. And normally the things they announce at RuneFest are supposed to come out within the following year of being announced. But sometimes things change or in this case get delayed and I ended up playing UIM way longer than I thought I would, having way more fun than I thought I would, and getting a lot more attached than I thought I would. You know, the reason a lot of people prefer playing Iron Man over normal accounts is because with normal accounts, it's all about how much GP you can make to buy the best gear upgrades, but with Iron Man, you get the feeling of collecting drops that actually mean something more than just GP, and they upgrade and progress your account. That's just the big appeal of Iron Man in general. And lately, it's not that I've been burnt from playing the UIM, but I've definitely gotten to the point where drops don't mean much anymore. I drop nearly every item I get, which I mean that is kind of the point of UIM. But more importantly, at this point, I've gotten all the drops I've really wanted and done everything I've hoped to accomplish. I think playing group Iron Man is going to be a lot of fun. I won't have to worry about my internet or computer deciding to break down and wipe my account. 
I won't have to drop every other clue scroll because it's not worth the time doing Lily steps. Uh, I could learn how to solo raid without worrying about all the noted potions in my inventory, or DCing and losing all my items on the ground in a solo raid, or even the simple things like hunting chins becomes a much more reasonable activity to do. And just not having to be locked into an activity or route for long periods of time is going to be super refreshing. Like, I'll be able to do farm runs whenever I want, instead of one long grind involving master farmers, followed by giant mole, then herbler training, and so on. Which I'm not saying is a bad thing, and I'm definitely glad I got to experience the game in that way. But like, just think about playing your account along with your friends, and upgrading your gear together, and eventually you get to Barrows, and then you race each other to see who can get the most drops, and it's still hype when the other person gets a drop, because it helps you too. And even if you get a dupe, that's still a good thing because, well, if there's two of you on a team, you probably both want to have your own of that item. You can probably tell I've been thinking about this a lot lately. It's crazy to think that I spent a year and a half playing Hardcore Iron Man, and now almost two and a half years playing UIM. But also because of that, there's so much content I haven't had the chance to experience, besides the stuff I mentioned before. Every update that's come out in the last two and a half years, I've only been able to experience through the lens of a UIM. Like understanding what pieces of content would be worth the time, what the new storable items are, what new items would be worth keeping, and it's just funny, it's like the opposite mindset I had before I jumped into the game mode. Before UIM, I had only experienced the game a certain way, but now I see everything so differently, and I'm going to need to adjust the way I play again. There's so many great memories I've made playing Ultimate, and on one hand, it's sad to say goodbye, but at the same time, I'm unbelievably excited to play Group Iron Man and continue making a whole bunch of new memories. I've learned so much about the game in the last two and a half years, and even though we're about to embark on an adventure on a fresh account, all the friends, memories, and knowledge are still here. Despite everything, it's still me. And don't forget, it has never been about the destination. I appreciate you being a part of this adventure, and I hope you'll join me as we start a new saga and continue on the journey.